If you understood the balance sheet, the income statement, and the statement of cash flows, and how they're connected together, your knowledge level would be beyond 99% of the investing community. And don't get too hung up on the minutia. You don't have to understand every single line item because each business has their own way of doing things. So nobody understands everything. But if you understand the high level, then when you're presented with the information, it's so much easier to figure out. And I put the balance sheet, the income statement, and the statement of cash flows side by side. They're usually three separate statements, not connected like this. This is just for visual purposes. But the information in my financial statements will be the same as any other financial statements. And you can see I color coded the balance sheet. Green is assets, red is liabilities, pink is equity. I've never seen color coded balance sheets before. This is just so it's just easy to look at and convey information. This video is gonna be really simplistic. But if you watch the seventh or eighth video of this series, we might acquire a company, then book the asset to Goodwill, and you'd be really confused if you just watched that video. But if you watched the six or seven videos before that, it would make sense. It would be kind of a smooth transition. So every video is going to be a full year of financials. So this video is going to be for the full year of 2020 for Slippers Beyond Retail. We wholesale slippers. And this company just started in 2020. So this is the very first year we've been in business. This is a private company. It's not a public company. You can see it says owner's equity. When it says owner's equity, that means it's private. When it says shareholder's equity or stockholder's equity, that means it's public. And I will change this to shareholder's equity when we IPO, maybe in the second or third video. But right now it's owner's equity. We're just gonna do four things for 2020. The first thing we're gonna do is add cash to the business. Because generally that's the first thing you would do when you start a business. So step one is add 50,000 of cash. So we go to the balance sheet and then we add 50,000. And right here, reconciliation has to be zero at all times. If it's not zero, that means something's wrong. The way it's zero is when assets, total assets, which is right here, equals liabilities plus equity and it doesn't equal. Because in accounting, there's always two entries. So when we enter cash, what's the other entry? We're not gonna put a liability, because liability means we owe someone money. At this point, we don't owe anybody money. So we're gonna put into equity, because that's the value of the company. And we have 50,000 to equity. Because equity is total assets minus total liabilities. That equals equity. The next step is we're gonna buy $30,000 of inventory from Slippy. Just a company made up. Slippy, they sell slippers. So we're gonna buy 30,000 of inventory. So what happens? We have to pull $30,000 out of cash. So cash goes down to 20,000. And we have to send Slippy a check for 30 grand. And he sends us $30,000 of slippers. So our inventory now goes up $30,000. So you see everything was contained within the asset section. We increased one asset 30,000, we decreased another asset 30,000. So our reconciliation is zero, so everything checks out. In step three, we're going to sell $20,000 of our inventory to Walmart. So what happens? Well, our inventory goes down $20,000, so now it's 10,000. And our cost of revenue, which is on the income statement, goes up $20,000, because that's the cost in this transaction. The fourth step is we receive $50,000 of cash from Walmart because we sent them $20,000 of inventory. So the $50,000 of cash increases our cash balance on our balance sheet, so now it's $70,000, and we book revenue onto the income statement. You'll notice we have $30,000 off in our reconciliation. You look at the income statement, and we had revenue. This is for the entire year of 2020 of $50,000. The cost of the revenue was $20,000. That means our gross profit is $30,000. No operating expenses, it's just you running the business, no payroll, no expenses, it's really easy. So your operating profit is $30,000 and there's no taxes. And I know you should pay taxes, but I'm trying to keep this really, really simple. In future videos, I will definitely pay taxes, but let's just assume there's no taxes. So the net income 
is $30,000 for the year of 2020. So the income statement has to be zeroed out every year. At the end of the year, you have to zero out everything on the income statement, but the balance sheet is always a running total. So the balance sheet can have information on there for decades, or it could change constantly throughout the years, but the income statement has to be zero once the year ends. So in order to zero it out, you take the 30,000 of net income and you put it onto retained earnings. Now you have a reconciled balance sheet where assets equal liabilities plus equity. Now if you look at 2021, you see the balance sheet is the ending balance sheet from 2020, but everything's zeroed out, waiting for new revenue, new expenses to come through for 2021. Let's go back to 2020. Now in 2020, net income of $30,000. Now the statement of cash flows, it starts with net income, and then what you do is you add back the non-cash items and also minus the investment in property, plan, and equipment. None of that occurred in 2020. It was a pretty basic year. So our free cash flow for 2020 was $30,000, which happened to be the same as the net income. In future years, it's not going to be that way because we're going to have a lot of other things going on. So you can see our net income as part of retained earnings. In the year 2021, if we have another $30,000 of net income, we would add that to retained earnings and it would go up to $60,000. Retained earnings is a sum of all prior net incomes minus dividends. So if we do have a dividend payment, we have to reduce that from retained earnings, which we will do in future videos. So in future videos, I plan to IPO. So we're going to be a public company and I'll show you how that affects the equity section of the balance sheet. We're going to pay dividends. We're going to pay employees. We're going to pay taxes. We're going to take a loan out from the bank. We're going to sell stuff on credit so we can book accounts receivable. We're going to acquire a company so we book goodwill and then eventually impair goodwill. We're going to buy assets and depreciate them over years and a lot more. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you liked the concept. Thanks for watching.